first of the final of the men's quadruple skulls. Fantastic races over the week in the preliminary decisions. Now we're here for the medal final between Italy in lane one, Australia in lane two. Then it's Croatia, the reigning world champions in lane three. Only fifth place for them at Lucerne, but winning Hamburg and uh, second place at Munich, lost to the Germans. This German boat, a new lineup, won the Lucerne World Cup stage and also Munich. And then it's Russia in lane five. Sergei Fedorovtsev uh, remaining from the gold medal crew from Athens at in 2004 Olympic Games. Poland, the, it's their boat actually. They own that class sometimes. Uh, they had three consecutive titles from 2005 to seven and then w went on to win the Beijing Olympic Games and were world champions in 2009. Last year they decided not to do the World Rowing Championships. This day, this year they want to, but uh, of course they are missing one man from the long time crew. Adam Korol, he's uh, ill with a back injury. As I heard, uh, he might have to get surgery soon. Speedy recovery for you, Adam. Um, of course, you're one of the heroes of our sport. Vasilyevsky, Kolbovic and the Alinsky remaining on that crew stroke now by Piotr Lichansky. And we finally have the showdown we've all been waiting for since Lucerne. And it's extra exciting here. We see Germany and now Croatia because the times coming out of the semifinals were nearly identical. <laughs> finally, center lanes side by side and don't leave out the fast starting Russians either. And they're there. It's the Germans who shove their bow in front in lane four, though, but it's just half a meter or so. And it's an excellent crew also from Australia with Daniel Newnan on stroke position. And uh, also the Italians are uh, there with a fantastic lineup with the silver medal lineup nearly from uh, the Beijing Olympic Games. This is uh, Rosana, Rosano Galtarosso. Sorry, I'm sorry, Rosano Galtarossa. Um, he won uh, already in 2000 and then now at 39, he's uh, really a very strong man indeed to stroke this quad with uh, Perino Venia and Stefanini. This is the Croatian supporter, of course. Lots of them. It's the neighbor country here from Slovenia. Lots of them on the grandstand. And they hope for another good performance. The Croatians are good final sprinters. Don't let this uh, intermediate result uh, deceive you. It's the Russians, as you said, yes, with a very quick start ahead of the Germans. And then Australia hanging back just six tenths of a second behind. And what the Russians showed us in the semifinal is they can go 2,000 meters. They are no longer just a fast starting crew. I say that. But the semifinal was just yesterday. So two very hotly contested semifinals entering into a final 24 hours later. It's also going to be a little bit about survival. So this is the uh, graphic from our computer colleagues. And Russia still leading, as you said, with a strong middle section composed of Igor Salov and Nikita Morgachev. Seventh placed at Lucerne only but here they race for gold but it's I think it's uh, the Germans that now try to make a move it's their typical point of the race 750 gone approaching the halfway mark with some way to go to that and the Germans try to shove their bow in front and manage to do so but also there is Australia looking very good indeed in lane two uh, just the cameras down on the Germans and really textbook rowing in this German boat. They are the boys of summer, the most consistent performers throughout the past three months. And they had a little doubt about the back part of their race. They, uh, they were worried about going the distance, so the German coaches had them do some physiology tests, and they said, you're the fittest guys on the whole team. Trust yourselves. Open it up at 1,200 meters. And that's where they did when they one Lucerne. Can they do it again? Yeah, that was a clever tactic move there. And indeed, you say, can they do it again? Because the others, of course, know that tactics. Uh, so especially the Australians try to uh, counter that move now and draw level with the Germans or nearly level. It's just a meter separating uh, these two crews. Croatia hanging back three quarters of a length down on the leading two crews. Now, can they come back? on any one of the uh, leading two crews. And this is the overall picture. It's more than a length and a, and a bit of open water there for Croatia hanging in third place now, moving in third place from the Russians. So um, 
they did a good job on the first half but now they're fading a little bit the Russians once more but uh, this is nothing to say about next year here we have the young German crew 24 years in average not even 23 years in average on their way but can they beat the more experienced Australians uh, third place for them at uh, Lucerne fourth place at Beijing for Australia squad so uh, this is going to be a battle for gold and silver between Australia with Germany hanging on to a slight lead and don't count out the Croatians they are known for their patience that's what they count on but you cannot get too far behind especially when Olympic qualification is on the line and the closer we get to London the further back you are the harder it is to get back in contact they are full two and a half seconds out of the lead behind Germany Australia sandwiched in between them and now the Germans try to open up uh, uh, a gap right after the 1500 meter mark but the Australian Australians respond well it's just under a canvas separating these two crews and the young Germans that was the look from Christopher Morgan on bow position from the Australian quad with 250 to go that's about 30 five strokes to the line they can count that down in their head and just shut their eyes and go for it and the Australians up their rate early the uh, Germans might have to have something left in the tank too Germany now opening up the final sprint responding to that Australian challenge the fi final 150 meter and it's uh, Germany going up in the rates even more a canvas for Germany over Australia can they come back the Germans now on 41 a minute it's Australia on 41 2 but the speed is greater in the German boat now Australia gathering, gathering speed too it's Australia in third place way behind all the other crews uh, who's gonna win gold or silver it's Germany hanging on to first place and the greatest speed in the general oh what a crab directly before the line can they win gold no it's the Australians what a mistake the Germans caught, caught a crab right before the line and, and win a silver medal only. The graphics is not right. It's Australia that slipped through and won the gold medal here in this race in the men's quad. We've got the confirmation already with 25 hundredths of a second that the Australians won gold. And I'm sure, well, we have all seen who it was. He's such a nice guy. and. Uh, he will blame himself very much. Lawrence Shaw from um, Ensburg in Germany. He will recover and come back. And I'm sure he'll be on the team to make good for that. But that's our sport. And it can happen to anybody. It's just a strain. And then it, then yeah, there you are. You, caught, you catch a crab and that's it. Australia taking advantage of that and winning a gold medal, silver medal for Germany and bronze for Croatia. And I think, yeah, there, there you have it. That's uh, Philip Wende uh, comforting his teammate. It's a sting that's not going to go away for quite a while, but it's the motivation that will be provided from this. It'll give him and the others the edge, absolutely. And not to take anything away from the Australians. Oh, they, they who have had it on the screen. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you. That was, that was the, the moment. And he, he caught it, but then he lost it again. Right. And the bow man desperately trying to continue the momentum and get the boat across the line but he just was so jammed in the water so number two man stopped as well so if, if he would have continued they might have even made it but wow that's a tragedy for the Germans good for the Australians congratulations to all three crew they delivered a fantastic race and the Polish were there too